Let it give themselves all this theory and some some practical things. So thank you, many many thanks. Thanks to these four students. And uh, we are thinking on innovations. With that, I studied commitment, understanding, learning, planning, unity, desires, encouragement. Is it culture? Still, there is. This is the thing, innovations. Because today morning our professor says, uh, regarding that mad person, I hope now, now I am in that position. <laughs> Okay, the second Balram, a really very good presentation. That too is physical appearance and confidence. That shows his work. Yeah, it's very appreciable. Even though uh, he has not uh, considered some issues like uh, because corporate social responsibility it is old issue. Uh, just done. Professor Nagarazu also gave his opinion on all the papers presented in the seminar. At the end, Professor Radhisham Pradhan ended the session with his remarks on the paper. Uh, it would be better if uh, it, is, it can also be based on collection and analysis of data. It's a very good topic and very good research and I think similar type of study uh, could be conducted in this context and we will have better exposure on the same topic. It was followed by the distribution of token of love to the chairperson and the resource persons of the session by Professor Dr. Pradhan. The second technical session on corporate governance was chaired by the head of the Center for Management Studies, JIS College, West Bengal, Professor Dr. Prithul Chakravarti, and the resource persons were the principal of Continental Group of Institute, Punjab, Dr. A.K. Verma and Dr. Parimal Kumar Sen of Goenka College of Commerce and Business Administration, Kolkata, India. Chairperson Chakraborty highlighted the importance of corporate governance, giving some examples of failed companies in India. Eight papers were submitted in this session. Now is the SEBI Act and the Deposit Pay Act and uh, uh, other one that is the Regulatory Act 1996. <coughs> Recommendation and the Corporate Government is 2000. Companies Amendment Act 2000. And the new clause 49 of the listing agreement SEBI 2000 is a Bank of India report and by the group of the corporate government 2001, Companies Amendment Act 2002. I have taken 10 years data, 10 years report of all the 50 companies. And uh, group B companies, Tyrell Limited, Atlas Limited, Atlas Cycles Limited, Ram, Ram Informatics Limited, these companies also done well regarding the source of their information. Corporate governance is a system by which corporate are uh, direct and control. It is a self because it is a self regulation which direct the bank and finance institutions in the right path. And where it specifies the distribution of right and responsibility among the different parties. Because the responsibility of board and senior management who have a disciplinary power, not all the aspect of management can be written in the policy form. Therefore, it is very important to ensure the proper use such power in the best interest of institution. How this great uh, corporate governance variable are affecting the overall performance of the bank, return on equity and the return on SEC. So, in this way, we formulate the out models and how they, they, they affect the overall performance of the bank. Similarly, positive relations between ROE and public ownership, there is positive and significant relationship between surety and public director with return on assets. And there is negative and no significant relationship between ROE with both sides and public ownership. So this is all our presentation. Thank you. The X1 and X2 variable, that is both competition and share ownership are the real variables, whereas all the variables are the dummy variables. And this is the hypothesis which we have tested for the study, that is corporate governance variables affect the form performance. Similarly, corporate variables such as board competition, uh, 
So we all we are we are also convinced that many of the elements of corporate behaviors are extend for benchmark for the peace company of our size. Others distinguished research person and all the delegates from foreign as well as national nations and all the participants, dear friends, all the respected teacher and ladies and gentlemen. At the end of the session, Dr. A.K. Verma highlighted corporate governance CG as the crux of corporate success. The chairperson, Dr. Kritul, explained that CG depends upon values and ethics. The session ended with distribution of token of love, momentous and certificates to chairperson and the research person by Dr. Radhishan Pradhan. The third technical session on marketing and service sector management was chaired by Dr. J.K. Parida of Utkal University, Bhuvaneshwar, India and the resource persons were Dr. Navajot Kaur of School of Management Studies, Punjab University and Dr. Chotelal Chauhan of Sonamukhi College, University of Bordwan, West Bengal. Two papers were presented in this session.
fourth technical session took place on 7th of June 2012. The session was chaired by the principal of Continental Group of Institute Punjab, Professor Dr. A.K. Verma. The three research persons of this session were Dr. J.K. Parida and Dr. B. Nagarazu of India and Dr. Rajan Porel of Nepal. Altogether, nine papers were presented in this session. In the given table, I have summarized the major literature on IPO. First study on initial return of IPO was carried out in the United States in 1975 by Ivar Sun, which shows the initial return of 11.40%. So the need for skill working capital management has just become greater in recent years. And in Nepal there has been a tremendous growth in corporate sector. So trade up between liquidity and profitability to maximize the value on Panko and Sarva and recently I know 2009 also uh, conducted the relationship between the microeconomic variables and the stock return in the Vietnamese stock market, likewise Sandy and the Turkish stock market and Monfort and others have also conducted the study in 19, oh, sorry, 2009. So what is the conclusion? What, what do we find at the wow, What can we generalize from these findings? Actually, the, invest, the investors are very much concerned with the, with the uh, stocks uh, return and when they are uh, uh, concerned with the stock return, the investors should invest in large ones. That is the measure that I am made from this study. Uh, result from the regression analysis, I have got the coefficient of monthly returns of aggregate net sale for the period of ASA is the highest positive return at 1% level of significance among other months' returns. Which is required in the Indian context. Performance of IPOs plays a significant role as it affects both the company as well as investors. So the investors uh, are uh, it would really affect the investors with the uh, the IPOs uh, won't perform that well and performance of IPOs helps to analyze the strategies used by the firms and the future for the investors in the private market. So the strategies used by the firm as well as by the investors would differ. So this strategy, uh, if it is uh, analyzed and studied well, we, the investors will be able to um, draw out a strategy which will be useful for them. The session ended with the distribution of token of love to distinguished chairperson and reserves person. The final session was chaired by the Dean of the School of Management, Pokhari University, Professor Dr. Geeta Pradhan along with the distinguished professors from Nepal, India and Bangladesh. <laughs> Professor Dr. Radhisham Pradhan highlighted that the international seminar was quite successful due to the active participation of all national and international delegates. He thanked all the delegates who made international seminar a grand success. As far as I am concerned, I am very happy because the conference, international conference has come to an end successfully with the cooperation of each and everyone who are present here. But then I am unhappy and started feeling very sad because we are all going to depart very soon. Our foreign delegates are going to leave very soon and our national delegates are going to leave very soon. So we are benefited quite a lot. It is all because of the foreign delegates presenting the research paper in their own country. It was then followed by the presentation of reporters' report by Mr. Kanindra Fago. Dr. Diliraj Sarma and Mr. Rajesh Trester. In this session, Dean of the School of Management Studies, Pokhara University, Professor Dr. Gita Pradhan highlighted the relevance of this type of international seminar and suggested others to conduct such programs in future too. And this sort of conference is giving you the chance to present your paper. 
and then when we have from the foreign delegates, you have got a chance to discuss out of your knowledge, ideas, views, and with your usual knowledge. And it's a good relationship, you can keep good relationship with the foreign delegates and the foreign participants. Giving you the knowledge and the enhance your knowledge and your ideas. And in this is you know, the environment also we try to do this sort of conference and being a successful hour. She extended her thanks and congratulations to all who made it a grand success. The various participants and delegates also expressed the views on the seminar. And what's the bottom line for any corporation? Or what's the bottom line for us to make you? Let's see the business students one word. What's the bottom line for any corporation? Quick answer. Don't feel shy. Feel free. Okay. Oh, good. Perfect. Perfect. Another go.